talk about critical race theory, which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other, how to dislike each other. That's pretty much what it's going to that's pretty much, I don't care what it's pretty much what it's going to all come down to. You're going to deliberately teach kids, this white kid right here got it better than you because he white? You're going to personally tell a white kid, oh, the black people are all down and suppressed. How do I have two medical degrees if I'm sitting here oppressed? How do I get, first of all, time up, because I only got five minutes now, not five minutes. Two medical degrees, no mom, no dad in the house, work my way through college, sat there and hustled my butt off to get through college. You're going to tell me somebody that looked like all y'all white folks kept me from doing that? Are you serious? Not one white person ever came to me and said, well, son, you're never going to be able to get nowhere because you know the black people. But guess what? What's sickening about this whole thing is what y'all doing right now is already something I do in my community right now to speak out against stuff because black folks are getting told by other black folks, oh, you know you ain't going to be able to do nothing out there in the world because them white folks ain't going to let you get no. Oh, you know you're not going to be able to do it here because you know, white, the, the white man, the white man going to keep you down. Well, how did I get where I am right now if some white man kept me down? How am I now directing over folks that look just like you guys in this room right now? How? What, what, what kept me down? What oppressed me? I work for myself from off the streets to where I am right now. You gonna sit here and tell me this lie of critical race theory? Of this, this, this. He said he wanted his kids to grow up in a world where they are judged by the contents of their, what? Character. Their character, not their skin. If they let this stuff go on right now, it is absolutely doing the complete reverse of what he's doing. So when February comes, don't talk about Martin Luther King. When February comes, don't talk about black history. Money dog will sit there and just pee, must pee on his grave with this nonsense. That's exactly what's about to happen. Lastly, we are talking about our kids. We are talking about our children. What's so sick about me? I love the Discovery Channel. You will see that on the Discovery Channel, animals will put their lives on the line to protect their children from yeah. danger. Nobody want to get to the heart of the matter, get to the meat of the matter, get to the moral of the story. It all comes down to it. The person that's going to be suffering from this, the ones going to be hurt from this, is the kids. Yeah. Ten years from now, if this stuff goes on, whose fault is it going to be? Whose fault is it going to be? Who are we going to look back on and blame for this? Because this is stuff we're talking about right now. This stuff is going on right now. I do this stuff on a daily basis. I'm in the hood. I'm in the communities. I'm out there with folks in their face. I've been doing stuff since I was 18 years old, talking to black folks. And you know what? None of them are buying this nonsense. None of them are. But if you want to implement this into the school system, I guarantee you to the day that I die.